Hi everyone, and welcome to the Chrome Browser Essentials tutorial. I'm going to start out by going over what the Chrome Browser is, uh, and then provide some tips and strategies on how to make the most out of that tool. So we'll go over bookmarks, tabs, settings, apps and extensions, and then signing into uh, the Chrome Browser if you're using a device other than a Chromebook. So first, what is the Chrome Browser? Well, basically, it's a fast, simple, and secure web browser that's built for the modern web. And it's fast, uh, it's simple and streamlined, it has built-in security and privacy settings. There are ways that you can customize it and add apps, extensions, and themes from the web store, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. And then also, there's ability to sign in so that it will sync across multiple devices, uh, which is uh, really handy if you're using, for instance, a, uh, a tablet, a computer, and a phone. Once you sign into Chrome on these devices, everything will sync. First feature we'll take a look at is bookmarks. And the most simple way to create a bookmark is whenever you're on a page that you want to add a bookmark to, just click on the star to the top right of the address bar. Now, when you do that, you'll get to choose which folder you want it to go into. So typically by default, it goes into your bookmarks bar, which is that uh, line of bookmarks right underneath your address bar. Um, but you could also put it into any folder you want. So you can click the edit button there, and then you can put it into new folders, you can put it into existing folders and manage it that way. Now the bookmarks bar is very handy to get to access uh, things that you use very quickly. But on many computers, it doesn't show up by default, so you actually have to turn it on. So the easiest way to do that is to click that three-dot icon to the top right, choose Bookmarks, and then select Show Bookmarks Bar. And once you do that, then you'll see that this row of your Bookmarks Bar shows up right below your address bar. And uh, it just gives you quicker access to the things that you use most. Now a way that I like to save space on my bookmarks bar because that can get pretty crowded is if I know what the favicon is or the logo image for the website, I'll actually just delete the name of it. So if you see the bookmarks bar below on in my browser, I know what those symbols mean so I don't need to say, you know, for instance, Google Classroom, I know what the classroom logo looks like, I just clear out the name, then if I want to go to that bookmark, I just click on the icon. Now to create new tabs in Chrome, uh, towards the top, you'll see when you have the uh, the sites that you're on. To the right, there's an icon. Uh, if you click on that, then it will open a new tab to the right, and then you can go to a new address. Now, if it's something that you use a lot or you want to stay open in your Chrome, you can actually pin that tab. So, for instance, say you use your Google Drive all the time. If you right-click on that tab, you can actually go down to an option that says Pin Tab. And not only does it keep it to the left and open in your Chrome, then it also shrinks it down to just be the icon, just to save space, which is really nice if you have multiple tabs open in your browser. Now to change some of the settings, you would go to that three dot button to the top right, uh, to the right side of your bookmarks bar, and go down to the settings menu. And there are a lot of settings in there, we're not gonna explore all of them in, in this video, but that's where you can change uh, some of your sign in and startup options. For instance, if you wanted to start up to a specific page every time you start your Chrome, uh, appearance, privacy settings, passwords, the way your content is viewed, such as the size uh, of the uh, of the font, uh, the network that it's connecting to. You can change the, uh, the default language that you would be reading in Chrome. Uh, also the cloud print options and the last one, which is an underutilized set of settings, but there's accessibility features built into Chromebooks and then that you can add on to the Chrome browser uh, that uh, are really helpful for uh, visual and audio uh, accessibility. Now another great feature of the Chrome browser is that you can add apps and extensions to it. So first, just what is the difference between the two? Well, a Chrome app is a web-based application that runs through the Chrome browser. So it's something that you don't necessarily have to install onto your device, it just runs within Chrome. Now a Chrome extension is a little bit different. That's installed into the browser that adds functionality to your browser. It extends the capabilities of the websites that you're on. So to add any apps or extensions, you have to go to the Chrome Web Store, and once you're in the Web Store, you can sort by extensions, apps, and there's also uh, themes that you can add to your Chrome from there. To get to your Chrome apps, uh, the easiest way that I find to get to it is there's an apps button on the top left next to your bookmarks bar underneath the address bar. If you click that, all of the Chrome apps that are installed into your browser will show up. And then the extensions are to the top right, to the right side of your address bar. As you install extensions and as they're running, they'll be up there to the top right. And if you right click on any of them, that's how you can change their settings or you can disable them if you don't want them to be on anymore. Now lastly, signing into the Chrome browser is uh, 
really helpful for people that are managing multiple accounts or that uh, just wanted to sign in right away. Now, if you're on a Chromebook, you don't need to do this because you signed in once you started up the device. But if you're on another type of computer, a PC or Mac, I definitely suggest signing into Chrome because what it will do is it will sync and personalize all of your settings across devices. So for instance, if I'm at home on my computer and I add a bookmark or an extension, when I log in at school on a different computer, all of that stuff will sync and I'll be able to access all the same things and not have to double up the work. Another nice thing is that once you do that, you're automatically logged into all of your G Suite services. You'll never have to log in uh, once you start up your Chrome, once you're signed into the browser. So to sign in, you're going to click on the button to the top that either has the generic person icon or the name of the account you're currently signed into. If it's the first time signing in, you just have to sign in with your G Suite account information. And if another account's already signed in or a different one that you've already synced with Chrome, all you have to do is click the add person button and then uh, sign back in with, by clicking that icon to the top right and entering your account information. Now to go between multiple G Suite accounts, you right click on that same button and then you can toggle back and forth between different uh, accounts that you have. That way you don't have to sign in and out of any of the different G Suite apps. All you have to do is toggle between the different windows. Uh, just saves you a ton of time, especially if you're working with accounts that are say a home account and then a work account. You can just have a different window for each, keep them both open, and then it just saves you more time in the end.